Good morning, church. Good morning. Today, as some of you may or may not have heard, that our pastors are uh, challenged this morning with uh, sickness and will not be with us. However, in his absence, the Lord is still here with us and we shall carry on. So let us get started and worship the Lord in his holiness. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And we will follow the program as prescribed. And right now, let us pray. And those that can stand, please do, because as we, whenever we pray, standing and for opening for His Holiness is appropriate. Our Heavenly Father, our God, Creator of all things, the sustainer, the one that glorifies us and with grace and mercy. We thank you for your son Jesus, our Lord and Savior, for everything that we encounter and we do, we realize that it comes through him. Father, we thank you for our pastor, although he may be feeling some illness and sickness right now, but you are the healer. Lord, touch and heal him right now. Not only his body, but those that are around him that may be feeling the pain. Be with them, Lord. Strengthen them. Lead and guide them. Bring them back as you will have in your will, Lord, not ours. And give us the strength and encouragement to be able to support and help him Recover as you will have it be. Lord, allow this congregation to come forward and hear the words that you are going to give through our assistant pastor, Sister Barbara Day today, Minister Barbara Day. She will speak the word as God give it to us. Let us be here. Let us be that beacon of light as we hear and take this in our hearts that we are able to radiate this through others can see us as that beacon of light. God grant us the ability to carry out your will. Move through neighborhoods, move through uh, churches, uh, neighborhoods, friends, families, and be touch on those that need to see us in you. See you in us as they look at us. We thank you for this day through your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Amen. Now we have a song by the Salon Combined Choir. The title of the song is I Can Tell the World About This. Now this, this is Jesus. Um, it says, I can tell the nation that I've been blessed. I can tell them what Jesus has done. I can tell them the comforter Jesus has come. And he brought joy, so much joy unto my soul. Listen to these words.
morning. You all may stand. I will be doing the responsive reading for this morning. It is going to come from number 571 in the back of your hymn books. The Model Prayer. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray, as John also taught his disciples. And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their rewards. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy Father, which is in secret, and thy Father, which seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. After this manner therefore pray ye, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. Altogether, but if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Amen. Announcements by Sister Charlotte Timberlake. Good morning. Do we have any visitors here with us today? If so, would you please stand? If there are visitors, on behalf of Reverend Wayne Johnson and the Silo Missionary Baptist Church family, we extend a heartfelt welcome to you, and we hope you come back and worship with us again. Heartfelt sympathy goes out to the family of Mr. O. D. Taylor, to Toler, and he is the fiance of Lily Mae Henderson, so please keep the family in your thoughts and prayers. Let us remember our sick and shut-in members and keep them in your prayers. The Pastors Aid Club will meet today for a short meeting immediately after service. The Voices of Salon will have rehearsal today immediately after service. Relay for Life. Palace Point is having a yard sale on July 29th from 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Rental space starts at $25, and Tabitha Elroyd will be getting a space to sell items for Relay for Life. If one, anyone have anything that they would like to donate, please let her know. All money raised will go towards our goal for Relay for Life. And please come out and help make this fundraiser a success. If you have any questions, please see Tabitha Elroyd. From inside your bulletin, next Zoom Bible study is Wednesday, July 5th at 7 p.m. <coughs> Family and Friends Day will be Sunday, July 16th at 11 a.m. Lunch will be served, and you will see inside your bulletin uh, menu sheet. Please return the enclosed menu sheet by next Sunday. And as always, your help will 
greatly be appreciated. Missionary Circle meeting will be Saturday, July 22nd, 1030 a.m. Church Conference, Saturday, July 22nd, 11 a.m. <coughs> Women in Action meeting, Saturday, July 22nd, immediately after Church Conference and Communion, Sunday, July 23rd, during morning worship service. Do we have anyone celebrating a birthday from last Monday through today? If so, would you please stand? Birthday or anniversary? for today is it's better to walk alone, alone than walk with a crowd going in the wrong direction. Amen. This will conclude the announcements for this morning. Thank you. And now we have another song by the Salon Combined Choir. And following will be the word of the day from our associate minister, Sister Barbara Day. And if we give us and receive her, as God will have, have us do. Thank you. The title of the song is Blessings my way. And again, I'm not talking about the blessings that I give. I'm talking about the blessings that Jesus can give that nobody else can give. And he does it all the time. Especially when we don't know of it. Listen to these words.
pastor this morning he's not feeling well but his soul is right he called me this morning he said don't worry about me don't us worry about him cause God got him and we are praying for his speedy recovery so this morning I will be bringing a few words from the Lord Hopefully, prayerfully, that we will all take down and do what thus says the Lord. Because that's what it's all about. Amen. It's not about us, Amen. but it's about God. Yes. My topic this morning is praying to God. Praying to God. And I found that in Luke 11, 1 through 12. If you want to take a note of that. But I'm going to go ahead and let you know that God is in control of every situation. Yes, yes. And he can do what he said he would do. Yes, he will take care of us through the storms, through whatever we're going through. God is able. He's able to take us through. One of the things that we need to realize is that we need to be ready. We need to be ready when he comes because being ready means you putting on and taking off and doing the things that God is pleased with. Not about us, but it's about him. When he comes, let us be prepared to make uh, a list of things that we might need to brush up on, do some things a little bit different than what we've done. But if we ask God to direct our path, he will certainly do that. We want to please him. It's not about us, but it's about God. Ask God to help us, teach us, teach us his will, not our will, but his will, that everything that we shall do will be pleasing to him. And it's not about how we, uh, do certain things or, or say certain things, but it's about how we treat each other, how we encourage one another. When things are going bad and you can't even see your way, don't even know how you're gonna make it. But when you pray and you sincerely pray, God will come to your rescue. He's the one that will come to your rescue. He'll give you peace in the midst of the storm, in the midnight hours when nobody's there but you. He's right there. He's right to encourage you to hold on just a little while longer and everything will be all right. Just know that God is who he says he is. He's our provider. He's our way maker. He's our keeper. And all the things that we do, we just ask God to please help us pray one for another. You don't ever know what people need, but just ask God. Ask God to give you the words to say to encourage one another, because it's a, it's a praying time right now. It's a serious time right now. We need to pray for one another. We need to encourage one another. Oh, mm. God, all the things that you do, all the things we do, let it be pleasing to God. It's not ourselves that we want to please. Because when we were out in the world, and some of us know, we did exactly what we wanted to do. Amen. We had Amen. no conscience about it. Amen. But when God comes in your life, Hallelujah. he brings about 
got to change. You don't want to think the same way. You don't want to act the same way. You don't want to treat people the way that you used to do. But now you want to please God. And I say all the time, let my ways please God. Let my ways please God. Because it's only him that is going to pay for what we do and what we say. Amen. We need to please him. Amen. So I say to you this morning, we're not worried about our pastor because he's in good hands. He's in good hands. He said, don't worry about me. But we will continue to pray for him that the Lord will come into his body and heal his body from his head down to his toes. We believe that. We walk by faith and not by sight. And if you do just that, God will take care of us. He will do it. And I want you all to know that God is a way maker. He'll make a way out of no way. He'll show you which way to go so that you will please him. So this morning I say, we're going to pray for one another. Pray for one another because we need each other. You might think you don't, but you do. You really do. When you come into this building and you see smiling faces, you don't know what they've gone through. You never know. But God knows. So I say to you this morning, pray for our pastor, but he's going to be okay. Pastor's going to be all right, and you're going to be all right, because we trust God. So I don't have a lot to say, because when he called me this morning, I said, Pastor, whatever you want me to do, however you want me to do it, because we need to work together. We need to support one another. When one is going through, know that they need prayer. We need each other. And so in my closing, I say to you, let us lean not to our own understanding, but lean on the word and, the, and let us please God. Let us continue to please, please God. And I say to you this morning, pastor's fine, but we're going to still pray for one another. Be blessed. This was something that the Lord just laid on my heart this morning. We need one another. We need each other to encourage one another. So please continue to pray for one another. And I say this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. have a song by the combined choir and after that we have the benediction well the uh, opening the doors to the church by our pastor of the day and followed by the benediction wonderful choir the title of the song is God is real listen to these words
today that would desire to come and join our fellowship would you please come the doors of the church are now open so that if you if you desire prayer you know you might just want to come to God and just have a, a prayer among ourselves because we all need prayer Amen. without prayer we couldn't make it one of the things we need to be in prayer for is our pastor. He's a dedicated man. He always is here if he can be here. And we need to let us stand and just pray for him this morning. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for how you've blessed us and how you've kept us. We are so appreciative, God, for how you woke us up this morning. You started us on our way. And Father, we thank you for that. We thank you for giving us life, health, and strength. And I pray right now, Father, that each one that have come this morning, that you'll bless them in the way that they stand in the need of. We thank you, Lord, for trials and tribulations because it only makes us strong to know that you are the healer, you're the provider, you are all in all to us. And we just thank you, Lord. Thank you for this congregation. Lord, we pray that whatever their needs are, that you would meet them in Jesus' name. We thank you, Father, and bless our pastor and his wife, that whatever the, is, whatever the need is, Lord, supply it in the name of Jesus. We thank you for healing virgins.
pressure going all through his body right now in the name of Jesus. And we thank you and we count it all done. And bless the people that came this morning. Some came with some some came with some conditions that we don't even understand. But you know all about us cuz you made us. You made us, Lord. So bless us now as we leave this place, but not your presence. And we thank you now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 <laughs>